as we know, gun laws are under attack like never before in the history of the United States of America. I want this video to have a calming effect on everybody who's a little, a little antsy right now. Rightfully so. We do have a battle ahead of us. I'm going to talk about it in this video. I'm going to answer some of the questions, the hundreds of questions I've had. I'm going to go to the top four or five. And we're going to talk about what we need to do right now. Stay tuned for the whole video because at the end, I'm going to put portions of my interview with Mr. Wayne LaPierre into this video. Yeah, I interviewed Wayne LaPierre himself. I think you'll enjoy this because that's going to give you a calming effect and let us all get a grip on what we're doing. I'm an optimist, a huge optimist. You got to take the T out of can't. We can and we will prevail and we're going to fight all the charges. I call them charges. We're going to talk about that up against us law-abiding citizens. We want to keep our freedom. Let's take the T out of can't. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. I'm recording this video on the day that the NRA, the chief, the CEO, Wayne LaPierre made his first response to the school shooting, the sad school shooting. And he did an excellent job. He said some things similar to what I've been saying in my previous videos. We need to arm our schools. But let's focus on gun laws and the attack and the battle that we're up against. Let's, uh, let's use this analogy first. Imagine if you supposedly committed a crime and you're charged with a felony. What is the DA or the state attorney's office, what are they going to do? They're going to throw the book at you. They're going to throw as many charges as they can, even though they know a lot of them are bogus. Let's say they, they throw 20 charges at you, and they, they hope three or four of them stick. And then you go to a plea bargain and all that stuff. Then they look at your legal advice also simultaneously. They're thinking, oh my gosh, this guy's got a good attorney. You know, we, we better hope only one or two of them stick. This guy's got a great attorney. Or if he has no legal advice, no attorney, he's just got appointed some free attorney from the state. We know of the 20 charges we threw at him, we can make 15 of them stick. My point is, we are victims. Us law-abiding gun owners are victims of the government throwing charges at us. That's what I call us. Victims of the government throwing charges at us and now we have to defend ourselves. And how do we defend ourselves? We need legal advice. We need good attorneys. It's the NRA. The NRA. I am so proud to be a recruiter for the NRA. My link is below to join. If you can't spend the $25 and you're a gun owner, I'm not even going to go there. Let's talk about what we're up against. Do you understand that analogy, by the way? We have the NRA to battle all the charges we're up against, such as an assault weapons ban. What they call, what they call assault. You know, AKA, AR, and they're going to have about 100 guns on the list. They're going to throw the book at us. They're going to have guns that even, they don't even know what they are. They, they just look bad, you know. They just look mean. So they're going to put them on a list. Magazine capacity. That's going to be up against us. And we got the NRA and our legal team to battle that. And I'm confident that we have good attorneys to battle it. Selling guns privately. Yeah, they're going to want to make sure that if you sell a gun from yourself for whatever, to your neighbor, that you have to go and pay a bunch of money to the government and get into a national registry and all, every single gun, every single serial number goes into the government. We don't want that. 
That's why we got the NRA and their attorneys to battle that. There's a lot of other things that they're going to want to do against us and ban. So, let me answer some of the questions that have been coming towards me. Why are some companies pulling out, such as like Cheaper Than Dirt, not selling guns online? Evidently, I don't, I don't buy from Cheaper Than Dirt, but evidently they're not selling guns online. Don't get nervous about that. Or the Discovery Channel pulling the reality show down. Don't get nervous about that. That's just business. These, these companies are huge companies, they're businesses, and they're nervous that if one of their guns or their TV shows creates some psychopath, which there's so many of them out there, to go do a, a shooting, another shooting, which will happen again, then they're going to go out of business. Such as Bushmaster, a wonderful company, they're struggling right now. People don't realize it, but their major, major uh, backer and, and financing is pulled out right after the school shooting because Bushmaster was used in the, in the, in the shooting, um, uh, Bushmaster AR, and also in the, the DC sniper shooting, and Bushmaster might be kaputs after this. So everyone's like, oh my gosh, these big companies are like, I don't want one of our guns sold and then some nut job uses it and then we get sued on a world on a nationwide or a basis so don't get nervous about big companies pulling out of selling guns that's that's just business I don't get caught up in the hype I'm I'm proactive on all fronts life is all about battles and struggles you get speed bumps. You slow down, you go over them, you battle it, and then you, and, and you move forward. You got stop signs. You stop, you look around, and then you, you don't just sit there. You move forward. And that's what we're up against. We have to battle gun laws like never before in the history of America. One of the questions I'm getting a lot is, should you buy an AR or an AK right now? I'll say this, uh, because part of what they're going to do against us is not allow us to sell guns from person to person without it going through the federal government. And if, if the gun ban for what they call assault rifles does get approved, which is possible, that is possible, that portion of the charges against us is possible, you're not going to be able to sell your AR to somebody else. So if you want to buy an AR and AK, buy it now, yes. But don't buy it because you want to buy it for a profit, thinking you're going to be able to sell it in a year from now at a huge profit. Because with the new, if, if this does go through some assault weapons ban, it's also going to be simultaneously going to be approved that selling guns from person to person without going through the federal government, that'll be a federal offense. So you won't be able to sell your AR or AK to somebody else if they're banned. So don't buy an AR and AK if you want to buy it for a profit. Buy it now, yes, while the expenses are still affordable, the prices will skyrocket because of hype, and they will skyrocket because of demand. So just think about that. Just think about that. I really think that we are at a turning point in this country. And we are going to turn this negative into a positive. We have good legal defense. We really do. Wayne LaPierre did a great job today. He came out and he said we need to have guns in schools, you know, security officers or cops or some sort of armed security in schools, which, duh, makes sense. We, we protect airports, we protect massive amounts of people in all different areas, football arenas and uh, places like that, baseball stadiums. Why not protect our students? I, I've been saying that since this whole tragedy happened. So let's, uh, let's just relax and understand that we do have a legal team to defend us against all the charges that are about to be thrown at us. 
which is going to be huge. Vice President Biden is in charge, and then they're pulling in all of the anti-gun politicians to be on this commission against us good law-abiding citizens who want to, we just want to help, and we just want to have our concealed guns, and we want to protect our lives and our families' lives, and we want to enjoy our sport and our hobby of shooting at the range. And it is, it is fun going to the range and, and shooting. It's, it's a great outlet. But they don't understand that. And then also the problem we're up against is the mass of amount, the massive amount of public opinion is against us right now. I mean, if you went to the mall just and just asked 30 people in a row, do you think AK-47 and AR-15 should be banned? Oh, I would say 29 out of 30 people would say yes. Who needs one of those things? They don't know. They don't get it. So we have the problem of public opinion against us. But we have a legal team. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So join the NRA. My link is below. And please be part of my team. They're looking at my numbers, the NRA. I flew up there at my expense to Fairfax, Virginia, met with the executives, became an NRA recruiter. I'm very proud of it. I interviewed Wayne LaPierre myself. He personally thanked me in the video. You're about to see there's some clips of it. Please join through the link below. It saves you 10 bucks. It's $25. You get $2,500 worth of free gun insurance. So if your gun gets stolen from some nut job, your car gets stolen, your gun's in it, it gets, you get up to $2,500 replacement of one gun if it's worth $2,500 or five guns if they're $500 each. It's worth it for that alone. But more importantly, you, know, you get the free hat and some goodies each year when you renew. But that's, that's cool, but we need them to protect us. And a lot of people are saying, should I be a lifetime member? And I thank you for that. Um, or should I just pay the $25? Bucks? The NRA needs the numbers right now. So you don't have to go out and splurge and spend $1,000. Go out and spend $25 because I'd like the number to be four, it's at like 4.5 million members right now. We need it up to 20 million members. Fast. There's 100 million gun owners in America. Come on, shame on all the other 96 million who are not members of the NRA. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blend right in now to uh, some of the excerpts of the uh, interview I do with Wayne LaPierre. Please tell a friend about the channel. Please subscribe. Please, please, please join the NRA through the link. Save $10, normally $35, only $25. You get your card in the mail. You put your, you put your card in your wallet. You put your gun in your holster, and it goes hand in hand. The NRA and a gun goes hand in hand. And if we didn't have the NRA, we would be in a world of hurt. We would be like our friends in England, who are the, the government comes knocking for our guns. It's not going to happen. Calm down, everybody. It's not going to happen because we have a good legal team to defend us. Let's go talk to Wayne right now. With who else but Wayne LaPierre. Hey, Thank great, you, sir. Great to see you. Thanks for everything you're doing to, to, to sign up new members of the NRA. Yeah, I'm trying hard. Please tell the audience why they should join the NRA and really what's happening now with gun laws. Well, I mean, the main reason to join the NRA right now is the fact that we're about our membership and giving voice to our membership. And if there's ever a time to be a member of the NRA, it's now. 100%. What about this whole Fast and Furious thing with Eric Holder? I mean, are we going to get him to resign, or is, what's gonna, what do you think is going to happen with that? Eric Holder needs to go, but needs to be a special prosecutor appointed. It, uh, I mean, look at what they did. They sent thousands and thousands of guns deliberately to some of the most evil people on the planet, the Mexican drug cartels. They were running a massive campaign to manipulate public opinion against the Second Amendment in the United States. They were letting law-abiding American gun dealers take the rap when they knew the truth. And then when it starts to come out, they engage in a massive cover-up. Amazing. Mean, that, that can't stand. Can't stand. What, what my audience is going to ask is, um, states like California, for instance, are those laws ever going to get loosened, do you think? You know, the truth is, the strength of the NRA, and you see it here today, is decade in and decade out, we're the majority in this country. The American public is on the side of their constitutional rights, they're on the side of their freedom, they want their gun freedom, they want to be able to protect themselves, and that's every single state you go into. 
That's why we're up to 41 states now with right to carry. We're not going to rest until all 50 are that way, including California. Excellent. This is a freedom that the American public in every single state in this country wants to defend it and wants to, to have as an individual citizen. So we're not giving up on any state. Thank you so much, Wayne. Thank all you. right, our audience appreciates thank the you. interview. So thank you I'll so tell much, you, sir. NRA's promises are always going to be a Second Amendment in this country, and it's always going to be an individual right. That's what we want to hear. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.